Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can access your Octoprint print server from anywhere in the world on your mobile phone. So to get started we're going to go up to the settings window here. We're going to go down to Octoprint plugin manager. And we're going to hit the get more button in here can scroll around until you see Obico for Octoprint. And we're going to install that. All right, we got the done message. We're good to go. We can close this, close this, save this setting here. And then you'll notice that we got this pop up that says you must restart now. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Click proceed. Obviously, you don't want to do this while a print is running. Um, so this needs to be done in, you know, a downtime for your printer. We're just going to give this a minute or two for the Pi to reboot itself. All right, there we go. Go ahead and reload. So once that's loaded up, if you bring down your drop down menu here, oh, or it'll just pop up right there for you. Um, so this is the setup wizard for this guy. Um, I feel like most people are gonna set up with the cloud. You can also host your own server. Uh, this is a little more involved, but this, this will serve the purpose for you for now. So we're gonna go ahead and hit setup plugin um, and then I would recommend continuing with the app. So if you click this button here, it'll give you a QR code to scan. Um, and then that'll take you to the app store to download the app. And then we'll go ahead and open it from there. So normally here you would be able to select download. I already have the app downloaded, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open it. And then here, normally when you weren't signed in yet, you would create an account on the front page here. So let's see if I can sign out. Okay, so we're on the sign in screen here. You can sign in with Facebook, Google, or Apple. I use Google. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now I'm signed in. I already have this uh, Obico set up on one of my printers. I'm going to set it up on a second printer. Um, and in order to do that, you're going to go to Link New Printer. You're going to select Octoprint and tell them yes, the plugin is installed. We already did that. And then you're going to want to look at this screen here and identify the IP address matches with your IP address um, of your Octoprint server. So this matches mine. I'm going to hit link. And then you'll see on your web browser that your Octoprint has been linked successfully. And now you can close this window. On your phone, you'll also see that uh, Octoprint is linked, and you can go ahead and rename your printer. And then go ahead and go to the printer feed. Okay, so we're back here on the uh, kind of front splash screen after we link the printer. So you see here I've got two different printers across the top ribbon. Um, this one is already hooked up and 
or was already hooked up and this one is the one we just added um, and so here if this printer had a webcam attached to it um, you'd be able to see the live stream of that webcam you can turn on their failure detection mode which I believe you get a free however many hours um, a month of that failure detection AI um, if you scroll down you'll see you know if a print is running this will tell you how far along it is how much time is left when it should end uh, the Z height and then um, all of the printer parameters the um, temperatures of each of the extruders as well as the bed um, you can also control the printer from here so you can move the X Y and Z axes from here you can change out the um, step for each of those as well you can hide those controls and if you had files loaded on your phone you could actually start a print from here you can navigate into your print files folder add these guys in and go ahead and start the print from here when a print is actively running you can pause your print you can cancel your print um, you can toggle on and off the failure detection for these prints as well um, obviously this function only works if you have a webcam so on my other printer you can see here I have the webcam feed in there um, the printer is not connected so this is just a screenshot of the last webcam image um, but here within this image you could actually zoom in um, and out and get a, get a good visual on the print itself. Now there are memberships associated with this. Um, you can upgrade to Pro which allows you to uh, get more of those um, AI detection hours a month. You get 50 free a month. Uh, unlimited webcam streaming. Um, obviously all your printer controls and other things that we went over. You can send text message updates, email updates, um, and a few other things as well. Um, but the free software allows you to connect up to one printer. You get the basic webcam streaming, 10 free AI detection hours a month, um, 500 megabytes a month of tunneling for Octoprint, and then obviously all the controls, email, push notifications, text messages, that kind of stuff. Um, and you can buy it on an annual basis or a monthly basis as well. And then you can also just buy AI detection hours if that's what you're looking for. Um, I haven't had a print stop with the AI detection yet but my camera is also kind of set up in such a way that when the print is occurring the um, gantry is over the print primarily especially on smaller print so it'd be really hard for the AI to actually detect a failed print um, unless I had Octolapse or something else in uh, running for that particular print so that uh, the gantry was out of the way for that um, AI to recognize that you know we've got some stringing or, or layers aren't hitting correctly or whatever it might be and so yeah that's pretty much it it's a very easy install um, especially compared to the old spaghetti detective setup that was a little more involved um, and this is all hosted again on the Obico cloud so you don't have to worry about any like port forwarding or anything crazy like that I'm on the Wi-Fi network of my house right now if I turn the Wi-Fi off um, you'll see that I'm still able to control the printer here if I set that to 200 for tool zero and I go over here to temperature you'll see that it just got set to 200 there um, I can change this one from the printer as well, make that 180. 
and you'll see it updated here on the um, on the app as well. If I wanted to run a, a print, I can start that print from the desktop site. You'll see it'll send you the push notification that this print job is about to start. And now it'll give you all the file information. So this, I just selected a Benchy. Um, it's gonna print over the course of an hour and 53 minutes, finishing at 10.03. And um, yeah, as it continues to print, this uh, status bar will grow until it hits 100%. And here their AI is constantly, you know, looking at the print if the webcam was connected um, and this little needle will move around accordingly uh, if the print is you know looking like it's going to be successful or if it is looking like it's going to fail it'll be more on the red side and again from here you can pause the print You can also, while we're waiting for that to load, this will show you the all the previous prints that you've tried to do, um, and if they were canceled or successful, like this one, they'll show, so canceled is yellow, starts are white, and uh, I guess errors or failures are coming up as red. Um, so as you can see, I've I've ran quite a few prints with this on the other printer. Um, and now I'll be able to access both of them from the app. And this, this pause function takes a long time <laughs> just on Octo, Octoprint itself, uh, the, the web website version. Um, and again, okay, so now that's finally paused. We can go ahead and cancel that print as well right here. And there you go. You have full full control of your 3D printer from anywhere in the world with a nice, easy setup. Um, again, this is a free service depending on the quantity of printers that you have. Um, right now I've got two hooked up, even though their license says that the the anything more than two printers requires the pro license. I think maybe because this one is not actually connected, that's allowing that to happen. Um, but if you have just one printer hooked up to Octoprint, you know, this is a, a great resource to be able to access your printer from anywhere. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys found that uh, helpful or insightful. If you did, give us a like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks everyone.